Hi everyone, we're currently in Namibia photographing carmine bee eaters. We have amazing access to this wonderful carmine bee eater colony. It truly is a unique experience and during this video we're going to be sharing some of our tips and tricks to getting some great shots and at the end of the video we'll be able to share some of our most favorite images. Hope you enjoy. I'm William Steele, a Pangolin photo host and today with me is Dan Jenner, our operations manager and an avid photographer. We've come about 70 kilometers from the Pangolin Chobi Hotel to this amazing place, Kaliso, to photograph the carmine bee eaters. Every year between September and November, these southern carmine bee eaters return to the same breeding ground on the banks of the Zambezi River. This nesting site is about the size of a football pitch and is dotted with shallow tunnels occupied by breeding pairs. Nesting sites can also be found on the steep river banks. Once we arrived at the location, we spent a little bit of time figuring out the best way to shoot the carmine bee eaters. It's a wonderful colony which you have access to 360 all the way around, which allows you different angles for different lighting conditions, which is awesome, especially in the morning when you have strong lights. What makes the carmine bee eater colony so special is not only their incredible beauty, but also the vast number of birds. The ability to get close to them makes them a perfect photographic opportunity. What we also found was we can get really cool low angle stuff, which means we can shoot at really low angle, trying to get the beaters coming in. Because what they're doing here is nesting in the ground. So when they come in with insects, we can try and get those shots. The types of behavior you could see and hopefully capture are interactions between mating pairs, fights among rivals, and lots of birds flying back to their nests with their insect of choice. Something we've really enjoyed photographing here is seeing how many different insects the carmine bee eaters fly in with to feed their chicks. So we've been competing a little bit about who can get the best in-flight shot with an insect in the mouth. I would recommend having a range of lenses from 70 to 500 or 600 mil for optimal versatility. A longer lens is beneficial for zooming in and capturing intimate moments, such as birds landing with insects in their beak. I would also bring a wider lens, such as a 70 to 200 or 100 to 400 mil, as there are great opportunities to capture the vast amounts of birds at the colony. Using a big heavy prime lens might get you nicer photographs, but it is very tiring holding it up for long periods of time. So if you are coming to a destination where you know you're going to spend a long time with subjects, I would genuinely suggest bringing a tripod. If you do have problems with weight restrictions of your bags, then maybe doing something like using your camera bag to prop up against can really help. In terms of camera settings, we're trying to keep things as simple as possible. So our biggest challenge is how fast the birds are flying. So we're keeping our shutter speed at least 4,000. I would like to have it higher than that, maybe 5,000. But because we've got a bit of a cloudy day, we don't want our ISO going too high. So in terms of ISO, we're keeping it on auto. Because we've constantly got changing angles and light conditions, it's the easiest way to maintain a, a pretty evenly exposed image. And then the last thing, F number. So normally with wildlife photography we're keeping our F number down, but in this situation we want the birds in flight and our background most of the time is either the sky or at distance trees. So we've pushed it all the way to F8. It helps us get the full bird in focus, not just the tips of the wing or the tip of the beak, but the full bird and if they're flying towards us it makes it a little bit simple to get it. I 
Right, so we arrived very early this morning to find very overcast and damp conditions. So we tried to go against our norm, which is our fast shutter speed, by shooting in a low shutter speed and hopefully getting some cool panning shots. Although we came here to get some amazing images, it's been just fun sitting here with these Carmine Beaters so close to the Zambezi River. And sometimes it's nice just to put your camera down and watch the Beaters. Yeah, it's been a really fun experience. 